Good. Maybe consider hyper rolling for Candyland. Yeah, people aren't running Candyland because Poppy and TF got nerfed, but they're still kind of OP. And because no one's running it, it is free, free real estate when it comes to those units. Oh, the Candyman can. No, oh, the Candyman can. Ha, this guy's toast. Ooh, reroll galaxy. Let's go. Real Galaxy, now this is where we get weird. Wait, no one wants a sword on the side? You guys are insane. Wait, he got it? And I'll take the Bramble. I'll take the vest. This is not bad. You can make red buff or Bramble vest with it. It's pretty nice. It's got some value. Well, I like the sword though for early Deathblade. Early Deathblade is hella cool. But couldn't get the blade. Feels bad. <sighs> it's fine, it's fine. If we get another vest, if we can open with Bramble Vest, it's insanely good. It's one of the best items to open with because of the extra damage from the vest. Could maybe consider hyper rolling for Candyland. Cover it in chocolate and a miracle or two. The Candyland. Oh, the candy lane. I'm gonna pick these three units up, I think. We're gonna be really slow killing these units, so the amount of time we have to sell and pick these units up is very small. Please, vest. Please, vest to put on my chest. Vest for my chest. Vest for my chest. Vest for my chest. Vest for my chest. Oh, I bought the graves. I swear to God, I bought the graves, you guys. I bought it. I bought it. That feels really bad because graves is actually one of the better units to um, pick up there. Okay, maybe this is a candy game. These are going to combine. No twist of fate yet. I get a vest. Oh my god, I got monies. I got monies. I got nothing but monies. Hmm, that's a problem. Two item opener means lots of money, but not a lot of unmoney. That's scary. Mm, oh god, he has Ziggs. That's insane against Vanguard, actually. I'm, all my units are focusing on different targets. Yep. And my Zoe is in range of the Rumble all too. Yep. Wait, am I winning? Oh, I actually won? Why am I whining so much? No! <laughs> I lost, but half a second. Oh well, you know that is the way the cookie crumbles, as they say. Okay, this is looking like a real candy game. Okay, so to actually win with candy, you need to think about your late game. Which is Velkaz mostly. So we could in QSS Velkaz. Like you have this four core unit. Well, three core unit. The units are actually not core. You want it for Wukong instead. So you use this to stabilize early. Okay, level four, one level three, two level three, three level three, four, five. Five level three players, right? Six, seven. Is there only one player level four? No, two players level four. So six players level three. Also, I should put in TF instead of Alpha Zoe there. I would have been much, much stronger. Okay. All right. Stop trolling, Toast. Stop trolling. This guy wants to hyper roll Candyland. That's annoying guys thinking about it so one candy player huh? 
two can't wait no that's the first guy Yeah, we're gonna lose a lot of fight because we didn't hit any items. We didn't kill us one health poppy! <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Hopefully my RNG turns around a little bit here. Ooh, the vest is coming to me. Bramble vest, please. Bramble vest. Okay, this should give me a little bit of survivability. Maybe we can Dragon Claw Poppy. But we have one competition, this guy. He's already got seven TFs. Yeah, TF and Poppy are the two units you three star. And he's way ahead of me. I'm ahead in Zoe's, but that's not very good. The Brambo Vest is a good power spike though. Okay, the goal is just to be luckier than the other guy, right? <sighs> yeah, that's it. Just. I have to just be luckier. It's that simple. Just, just gotta be luckier than him. Please God. Please God, let me be luckier. Oh, uh, Zaya focusing Leona is pretty hype. But layering the Zoe stun was not good. Poppy eating the... Caitlyn ult. Could have been pretty bad, but luckily there's no 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 punish. So, I will protect you. I will protect you from all around you. I will be here. Don't you cry. Maybe it's uh you know Star Guardian comp. Nope, Star Guardian is trash. Toast. You don't need me to tell you that. You know the truth. Wait, this guy pushed level five. If he's pushing level 5, that's a good sign. That means he can't hyper roll for candy. Oh man, I hate, I hate Zix player. Zix is how you counter Vanguard. Okay, killed two units at least. One Poppy. One TF. All right, young thugs, you ready to transition? Put that Rabadon on your Darius. Come on, young thugs. I can always transition Mech Infiltrator with um, a Bramble Vest. So I want to keep that option open, Mech Infiltrator. Let's see what item we get. Another vest, oof. That's bad. Gloves with QSS. Leaning more towards Mech Infiltrator now. I got lucky. You'll get me next time. Crap, I have to go Mech Infiltrator. Okay, Mech Infiltrator looks kind of free right now. Hmm. Maybe I should have just committed to the poppy. Ah, that's so much risk. Or maybe I can naturally roll it, you know. Ooh. All right, already, already. This is one, one, two, three, four, five, six gold. I want to push six so I can get as much free rolls for this as I can, or just mech infiltrators in general. Someone found a kill already. Oh, nice. Shoot, he kicked the ball. Maybe I should have committed. I don't know. Hyper rolling on a um, reroll galaxy does feel kind of bad, though. Not gonna lie, feels kind of bad. Did I sell the Kazakhs there? Whoops, I needed the Kazakhs. 
Hmm, Mac Infiltrator. Mac Infiltrator. Mac Infiltrator. Mac Infiltrator. No Mac Infiltrator players. Oh god, no, there's one. Wait, his his items are so bad for Mac Infiltrator though. It's just the Morello. There's no Bramble Vest, no QSS. Son, what is you doing? Not a bad TFO. Damn. I only killed one unit there. Too bad. Okay, so Maxwell here wants to take Mech Infiltrator stuff, huh? Here, tier, tier. I can make a red buff or disarm or another Bramble Vest. Which honestly doesn't feel that great. I mean, red buff on the giant mech wouldn't hurt. It does apply it to everyone he hits. So I think it's okay. But the problem right now is I haven't hit any um, mechs or infiltrators besides the one Shaco. Hmm. You know, there is a world where I try to continue with Candyland. Not sure if it's a world I want to live in, but it's a world. Twenty-five percent chance. Maybe I can slow roll this somehow. Yeah, maybe there's a chance to slow roll it. Oh, luck so close, baby girl. Yeah, I could consider slow rolling. Especially if I'm gonna find more poppies like this. Like that, I guess. <laughs> um, can't make regarding the QSS build now. Prefer the QSS to be on Velkos. I thought I was going to transition mech, but here we are. Yeah, Dragon Claw would have been way better. Cause like my Poppy being stunned it really doesn't matter. She's just a weak shield. I mean the twenty percent dodge is pretty nice though. The only even more Rello Velkos. One of the upside of picking up a belt was also being able to Morello it. Pop the tier off Zoe. Replace it with the second tier. Uh second Zoe. Um I mean I don't have to three star TF, honestly. It's not like Mandatory. I'm trying to think, is it better to run the Mystic version or the Extra Sork version? Because at eight, you either throw in two more Sorcerer or you throw in two more Mystic. Like these units, you're running, for sure. It's just what do you do when you hit um level eight? Oh god! If only you can double Bramble Vest. This has been a very money focused. Very defensive item focused uh, team. And very money focused items. Ma very money focused um, RNG. Uh, we just make a QSS, I think. Uh, a GA wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Unfortunately, we can't stack Brambo Vest, I'm pretty sure. Can you? I'm not saying I'm gonna want to stack Ramble Vest, but maybe we can stack Ramble Vest. Zeke's Herald is also not terrible. I'm just trying to think if I need more Rello. Celestial. If Celestial's popular, Morello's pretty good, but. Like, with Morello these days, it's like, do I really need it? Frozen Heart on Poppy's not bad, either. Ooh, Kong upgrade, that's huge. Like, do you need Morello, right? I don't know about GA, I feel like QSS is enough. Zeke's Herald I like, because it allows uh, Velkos to ult faster. Um, Just depends on whether or not you want to give up Morello. Mmm, there's Celestial players. 
I don't mind a frozen heart either. Oh, the candy man can. No, oh, the candy man can. Who can take us? Yeah, people aren't running Candyland because Poppy and TF got nerfed, but they're still kind of OP. And because no one's running it, it is free, free real estate when it comes to those units. Like Sork. I think Sork. Star Guardian with Vanguard is the second best comp after Hyper Rosaya. Ah, he's got Last Whisper. And Dragon Claw. This guy is built making a build that counters me. Like this counters so much of my spells. And the Last Whisper counters my Poppy. Which is why the dodge helps a lot. He has the Kale 2 and his Mech Infiltrator combo. I actually don't love that because it's so expensive and Kale's never your carry. I, I feel like, oh, I feel like you'd rather save the money. Okay, but he's about to hit a lot of 3 stars though. He's kind of scary. Yeah, the Hyper Rosaya player has 5 3 star units on his board. Good job. Congratulations. Really skilled. Oh, super proud of you. Really showed everyone how good you were, huh? I'm oh, sorry, did I sound salty? No, I'll just take a jewel gauntlet. Slap it on my Velkaz. Oh man. Maybe I sell the Vel Velkaz. I don't know. Jewel gauntlet is AP, which is good on Velkaz. Oh, someone's playing Dark Star. How cute. That's what a cute person would do. Also, I don't think I'm running Mystic because my toughest opponent is going to be this guy. I might run Void to tear past the Jarvan. Oh my god, that's three star graves. What the heck? Got it. I don't think I need Mystic. There's not enough like AP compers. Alright. Yeah. It just does not seem like there's any th there's a lot of AP competition, which means six Sork is probably better, and I can potentially weave in a gangplank at level nine. Yeah, that's my thought process at least. I mean, I could be wrong. Yo, this guy is so strong. How do I beat him? Ooh, Dark Star. If he Zephyr's my Poppy, I'm in trouble. Oh, right, my Poppy has a few assists. Perfect. All part of the plan. Look how much tankiness my Poppy has. This did not even make it past the shield yet. Oh my god, that's done though. Oh my god, the stuns. Oh my god, the poppy just bopped him. Yo, I'm not saying double Bramble Vest is the smartest idea in the world, but... This is dangerous. This is very dangerous. Let's see what items we get. Depending on it, I may or may not remake my Velkaz. I should use level 1 Velkos, I can decide why not to sell the Velkos. If I get Rod, oh. I think it's fine, honestly. I know the tier is kind of like not the greatest on him, but... Why Titan resolve my Poppy? I RFC. Well, it's either that or I'm RFCing someone. Do I want to shift someone? No. Oh, these items are so awkward. I think Shojin and then Devil Titans Resolve is the best. Unless I want to make a GA and then RFC and then a Frozen Heart. I think Frozen Heart's not the worst idea in the world either. 
Yeah. Yeah, I don't hate a frozen heart. The G is just kind of awkward. And then the RFC is kind of awkward too. But I think slowing people's attack speed down is really nice. I think this is a fast 9 game. This dude, though, this dude's gonna give us so much problems. So many problems. As for the GA, it's probably on Zeraf with the bow. So, we can do this. Like, Zerath is our alternate win condition as well. Yeah, Frozen Heart against um, Garen is really helpful. Slowing his attack speed by 50% is huge. Oh god. Oh, 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 oh! GA Syndra clutches it out. Let's go. I might just push 9 after this and just use free rerolls. Like, I would run double squid. One strong squid, one weak squid. Ah, this guy's getting mystic. Lame. This guy's putting his unit right, this guy's putting his unit left. You can see it's kind of annoying to try and play around both of them. But. I haven't played against this guy in a long time, which is kind of good com for me because I'm kind of scared of him. Frozen Hard Poppy, really nice on this Irelia. But, um, this. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus. Wow, that KO kind of went off on my back line. Woo! Full item again, huh? Another QSS. I think Zeke's is not bad. I actually wouldn't mind Zeke's at all here. I think it's above average. QSS is not bad for um, Zerath as well. Uh, I guess it's the QSS. Yeah, it's not bad for Zerath. I feel like it's a little too much defensive items, but it's not the worst in the world. 3 QSS up against a comp that has 0. Well, Rakan, I guess, is kind of CC. Mm. Hopefully my Velkos can delete the Zaya real quick. Jero. Do I want double Valkos? Or oh, is that kind of crazy? Why do I don't think that's kind of crazy? Two Valkos with two QSS each. That's okay. I'll be honest. That's kind of crazy. Laser go. <laughs> it's a laser light show, boys. Okay, I beat the first place guy. He's lucky then Q into me then, because I'm dumpstering him with the double laser light show. Gang Plunk. Can't run Gang Plunk. Oh, I think this might be a Vel 3 game then. And then we replace uh, Zerath. Replace uh, one of the Velkos with Zerath. I'm pretty damn strong. This guy's moving to the right, which is really good for me. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. Stay right, buddy. Stay right. I love it. I love it that you went right. Ah, I'm against the guy who went left. Laser light show, laser light show, but they're both out of range of the gin, just barely. Laser light show, holy crap! Nice, he took a loss as well. I'm feeling pretty good, especially if I three star my Velkos. Rage blade, pretty good on Zerath actually. Um, I would RFC Rage blade and GA like. Someone else at this point. Whew, not doing too bad. This is one of the top tier comps that not a lot of people talk about because Candyland got nerfed, so people kind of forgot about Candyland. Candyland is not really like hyper roll for Zoe, TF, and Poppy. It's more just you hit the Poppy, you're good enough to like win early game, 
and you start transitioning to a late game build, which is like these guys. Let's have pick up Wukongs on the way. Mm, I can rage play my Xerath in the meantime. I have decent positioning here, I think. Unless, yeah. Like, ideally, my Valkyrie doesn't screw up if it's out. He screwed up his ult. He's the other one screwed up his ult as well. They did. They didn't laser the Zaya. That's annoying. That's really, really annoying. Because they went from right to left, and Zaya was at the edge. Move them one step forward, probably. Ah, this guy moved his units to the left. Nice. Oh, he has Gunblade. No wonder he heals him so much. Hmm, this guy's looking for Jinx 3. We should try and stop him if we can. One Valkos away, but I mean, if my Valkos misses his ult, it doesn't really matter. I should play against this guy. The Kale's a little annoying, depending on how she splashes. I'm gonna put my Lux in this corner. So I can potentially get the cross country ult here. Like, my, my Poppy is slowing down so much people right here. Yeah, Zerath is a good cleanup crew. Like, Valkos does the AoE damage, and Zerath can clean up. I don't think I need another QSS, do I? Oh god, none of these items are that good. Yeah, takes my GA, huh? Guess I'll take QSS. I don't want him having QSS either, so... I would prefer the GA. The GA is insane against my Velkos comp. Kind of sad that he took it. Doo -doo. Oh, Velkos 3. So what we want to do is do this and then buy the Velkos 3. So it pops off the right items for us. And then we replace it on this guy. And then we go in on the Wukong as well and try and hit 3 star Wukong. Cause why? Oh, 3 star Wukong. I literally have no room for new units. Holy shit. Dark Star, I guess. Three star Wukong with three star Velkos. It's pretty damn strong. Assuming once again that my Velkos lasers the right area. Yep, that will do it. Yeah, I'm so strong. His only hope is to get a random item that's good against me. But because I have one, four QSSs, like something like Trap Claw won't do much. I just want a Dark Star unit to die right away. Three Star Wukong, three Star Velkos. Good luck, buddy. He's looking for Ash and Lulu. We should buy Lulu's if we can. Ash and Lulu's, Ash and Lulu's. Ash and Lulu's, Ash and Lulu's. Is he moving? Nope. Oh, alright. Say hello to my laser printer. Yeah, no QSS means no um, Rakan knockup. 
Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of strong. Let's see if the random item you get can save you. You got a GA, pretty damn nice. I got a chalice, which is also pretty damn nice. Mm, gives mana to all my units. So who are you looking for? You are looking for... I have no idea who you're looking for. <laughs> you tried to put in four protector instead of mystic, I think. Or celestial. In any case, I don't think you're ever beating three-star Wukong, three-star Valkaz. Thank you, Poppy, for the early game carry. You're looking for ashes, right? Oh, let me see if I can find an ash for you, buddy. Oh, you found a Lulu, at least. Oh, a Jin. I mean, I, I don't know if I want Jin to be upgraded at this point. Ooh. Oh, you know what? Two Zeraths. That's smart. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I'll just chalice my Wukong. You are going with a Seraph Lulu against a 4QS as carry comp. Bruh. Bruh. There's no one to turn into muffins. GG. Oh, and that's the way it goes. GG. <sighs> Candyland's still good, folks. Just focus on the right thing, which is your late game carries. Man, maybe if I stop trolling, I can hit masters one day.